we have at the dive shop. One of these. My name is Kat and this is my vegan experiment. So here I talk about all things conservation, veganism, sustainability and ocean. One question I've been getting more and more is about scuba diving. So I decided to make more videos in terms of scuba diving. And one of the first things I want to do is start talking about equipment and what equipment you should consider buying if you're getting into scuba diving. Now, I have a whole video about the overall equipment, but today is going to be more focused on torches, on torches on which you might be taking on night dives or on slightly deeper dives to really illuminate the underwater world to see the color. As you guys know, at 10 meters, you basically lose all color since the light doesn't penetrate through the water. Uh, so having a torch helps you really see the vibrant colors and gets good photographs, as well as find those creepy crawlies in the little cracks. So today, I wanna be uh, comparing four different torches. I actually got one for free from Orca Torch. And yeah, just seeing how they stack up against each other. Now these are just the torches we have at the dive shop here at Laka Lodge, as well as my old torch, and then the new Orca torch. So let's get started. Let's check out this Maris torch. So there's three different ways of torches being turned on and off. One is the simple twist, as you can see there, uh, which has the benefit that it doesn't stick, the buttons can't stick or anything like that. However, sometimes this is not ideal for rental equipment, especially since students, customers are going to unscrew it underwater and then it gets flooded. So this is a pretty good torch to have uh, with this system for your own personal torch, however, rental, not so sure. In terms of this beam, so I'm going to show it to you, it's got a pretty wide beam, pretty bright beam, uh, works with rechargeable batteries, no problems, needs three triple A's. It's a solid little torch. My friend bought it a few years ago for 80 euros, so it's quite affordable in terms of torches. So a nice little standard torch. We're gonna look at my torch next, which is um, a big blue torch that I bought in Australia in Adreno. Now this one's slightly different because it actually has one of these oh, um, switches. So as you can see, that took a little bit of effort to actually open it. So while at the beginning I thought this was a really good method, now after using it for about a year, it's getting harder and harder. And even if I clean it really carefully, it's just not as good as a method as the, the twisty ones. This one does twist as well, however this changes the beam. It's an extremely wide angle beam which creates a nice even light and when you go night diving it really allows you to just see the whole reef at once. It doesn't illuminate little particles just in front. A nice little ambiance light. However, the downside of this light is if it's pinned up against some of these other lights which are a lot more powerful, um, you basically can't see anything. So if your buddies are flashing their lights in front of you and you have this torch, um, you won't be able to see anything. On camera as well, it doesn't show up. I did buy it for about $70 US, so it is a bit on the cheaper side, uh, but I really like it uh, to have around. Uh, definitely a good backup. Let's close it. Ugh. So yeah, not ideal. So if you're looking for your own torch, I wouldn't recommend getting one of these spinny things. Next one is this huge Aqualung. Um, they say it's very easy to travel with. This is very heavy. As opposed to the little ones which are very compact, this is a big bulky one. I quite like this for customers and for rental gear because people don't lose it and people really feel like they're holding something at night and that makes them feel better. In terms of the switch, we have a magnetic glide switch, which is pretty nice and handy, but again, it can get stuck and broken, so not necessarily ideal. The beam of this is quite um, smooth overall, so a better uh, light for cameras in comparison to the other ones. 
and it does provide quite a bright beam. However, the batteries do go out pretty fast and you need a lot of batteries to keep it, um, to keep it going. Uh, and then the last one we have here is the Orca Torch. So this one, as you can see, is very small. It weighs about the similar, similar to these other two. Um, but it's very small, very compact, so my buddy actually tried it even on one of these wrist mounts. It's almost perfect, it's just a little bit long, so it does hit your wrist a bit. But in terms of a handheld torch, it fits perfectly in your hand, and if we turn it on, so it's another one of the spinny ones, it has an extremely bright beam. So in comparison to uh, this Mara's one, the beam is much more spread out. Again, I'm going to show you guys this. You can notice this particularly underwater. The Mares will have a much narrower beam, while the Orca Torch is spread out. At night, this is great because you can see much more of the reef. However, it is extremely bright, which means you're actually going to be seeing a lot of the particles in the water. So if you're diving in a place where there's a lot of sediment, this creates a lot more reflection uh, back to you rather than the other uh, narrower beams. It still has various colors, um, like strengths of the outlines, therefore it's not the best for um, video. Again, I'm going to input some footage of what these torches look like underwater at night. Personally, I, I was actually very, very pleasantly surprised with this. I would highly recommend um, getting a torch like this. It comes with a rechargeable battery as well as a charger, which is ideal for isolated locations so you don't need to be getting any more um, batteries. All of these ooh, last um, a minimum of two dives, but I do like recharging the batteries after every dive. This one says it will last two hours and it's still extremely bright, hasn't changed at all after an hour's dive. Uh, so yeah, when you're looking for torches, I would recommend ones uh, to turn it on and off since the buttons do end up getting stuck. I don't have a push and click button. Those are pretty good as well. However, again, they can malfunction and they're much easier to turn on accidentally. Now, a big thing about underwater torches is you can't use them on land. Now, this is a very important point. They're made to go underwater, therefore they're made to have the cold water or cooler water to be on them while they're on. So they're going to be heating up a lot more on land and they can actually overheat and break. These will have safety features put in so they don't break straight away. However, if you just think you can use it as a normal day-to-day -day torch, that's not the case. So please be really careful about that. So yeah, for your personal one, I'd get a spinny one. Uh, and then your beam according to what you would prefer to do. If you do need to do video or photography, you have to get the more expensive, uh, all the same kind of profile of light. Uh, if you're just looking for a nice little di dive lamp to go scuba diving with, I would recommend something smaller like this because you can travel with it. This one is unfortunately no longer being made, but I'm sure there's many similar ones um, and it's very bright. I do prefer the wider beam and if you're with a lot of buddies or traveling, uh, having a really bright light makes sure you get to see things. I personally still like the non-brightest light for myself because I feel like I'm not disturbing the creatures as much. However, if I'm diving with anyone else with a uh, bright light, I can't see anything. So yeah, so there's pros and cons uh, to basically all torches. So let me know if you have any questions down below. I would love to answer them for you. I have included the links to all these torches in the description box as well as, you know, the information and prices and things like that. This was not a sponsored video. I do want to say uh, the Orca Torch did send me this one for free and um, I was a little bit, I was a little bit skeptical because I asked them not to send a speeding one just because I have bad experience in terms of customer and rental gear, but it's really great and to actually open it, it takes a lot more effort so you will make sure not to flood it. And the light, the beam was genuinely the best underwater. It's really wide, you can see a lot, but yeah, unless you have bad visibility and then in terms of sediment. So yeah, I'm very excited to have this torch and to be using it and um, 
who knows, maybe I'll be doing a giveaway one time and I'll be giving away orca torches because these are fantastic things. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in any other scuba diving equipment tips uh, from a paddy instructor and someone who's been diving for 10 years. I'm not the biggest pro in terms of equipment, you know, I haven't studied all the books, but just from personal experience, having something small and light which you can travel with, something which doesn't have buttons which stick and you have to worry about uh, is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Check out my website as well. That's where we're going to be all the more precise information about basically anything I talk about in videos. Uh, don't forget to join the mailing list, guys. I send out really cool tips and uh, prizes and benefits and things. Uh, just head over to myveganexperiment.com. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you next time.